Welcome to the Replit Changelog, where it's always shipping season. In the last three weeks, we've merged 823 pull requests. Here are seven new Replit features that have just dropped. The first is inline code transformation. Transforming code with Ghostwriter is now a completely seamless experience. You can highlight code, right click, and edit the code, and give it a transformation prompt right in line. You can toggle between comparison mode, your original code and ghostwriter suggestion and see the diff in line in the product. You can accept the suggestion and be ready to go in no time. Number two, ghostwriter suggestions now offer syntax highlighting with code completion and generation text now showing the ghost text slightly dimmed, but much more readable. This should improve your understanding of the suggested code enormously and make it much easier to decide whether the suggestion is worthwhile for you or not. Number three, inline code generation. Right click and select generate code used to bring up a separate pop-up modal, but now it happens in line. This makes it much more efficient for you to add and generate large portions of code to existing code bases. Once again, it shows generated code inline so you can preview it with the syntax highlighting before you accept or discard, meaning you'll know exactly where that code's gonna go and exactly what it's gonna do before you hit that accept button. Number four, host redirection. If you've ever built a web app on Replit, you'll know that to expose a web output, you'll need to run an HTTP port on the host 0.0.0.0. Even AI generated code doesn't always get this right. So if you click run without specifying that port, normally you just see nothing happen. Now, if you click run and you haven't opened that particular port, we get a message reminding us that we need to open the correct port. This just makes it much easier for those developing web apps for the first time, or even those of us who are very experienced, but forget to open the correct port. Number five, the settings preference pane has had a massive redesign, making it much more intuitive to use. Key bindings now have their own tab, so as not to get in the way of scrolling down our list of settings, and it's been organized and arranged in a much more straightforward way. Jumping in to change your settings has never been quicker. We've also got a brand new extension store, which looks and performs better. Sort, search, and filter will help you find exactly what you want. Our extensions marketplace now has a wide variety of useful and fun extensions. The new extension store makes it easier to search and find just what you're looking for. Finally, a much requested feature, the ability to delete multiple REPLs. Clicking select on the kebab menu allows you to tick multiple REPLs and delete them all in the same click. So if you are looking to manage your storage, this becomes a lifesaver. Tune in next time for the changelog to see more innovative and exciting features brought into Replit to help you 10x your workflow. At Replit, it's always shipping season.